shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything What's up mga Kalifit? Welcome back to our channel, this is Denmark Meron tayo ulit event for CrossFit Kabalen As you well uh, know, last January, meron tayong event doon na uh, Battle of the North Ngayon meron silang event ulit, the CrossFit Kabalen Invitationals for rookies na nagko-crossfit. Have you ever experienced ba na baguhan ka sa isang field na gusto mong ipakita yung potential mo, gusto mong pakita yung skill sets mo, pero wala kang platform para ipagmalaki yung accomplishments mo and ipakita yung ano mo, yung mga yung progress mo and yung gains mo. Well, CrossFit Kabalen has been gracious enough to hold an event para sa mga newbies and rookies na into the field of CrossFit. So, tingnan natin mga kalifeit kung how well they would do in this kind of event. This episode is brought to you by Paras Catering and Events. Check out their FB page and see all the excellent customer feedback regarding their delicious food, great service, and elegant styling. You can reach them at 0917-844-4470 and look for Ms. Jubian Paras. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback Okay, ma'am, name po and Saan po kayo nakatira ba? Okay, so I am Chris Rivera Miranda I'm from Baliwag, Bulacan So I represent Atlantic Gym and Fitness Center Okay, so how long have you been doing CrossFit now? So I started 2017 because I have a small gym in Bolacan. So we have a, a, a parang short course, so short classes. So we had a CrossFit coach before na nagkakontak siya ng classes. Uh, way back 2017, nagjoy lang ako ng unti-unti. Hindi yung ano, kasi pag sinabi mo CrossFit, yung iba natatahot agad. Um, heavy weights agad, ganyan. So I started light weights muna, body weights, then yun. So I started loving CrossFit from there kasi nakita ko yung transformation. So ako, um, I was single back then, so uh, year 2019, 2020, nabuntis ako ng kambal. So, feeling ko isang factor yung exercise, yung crossfit, bakit naging twins yung baby ko kasi, wow. yun. So, kasi feeling ko, um, when you are doing crossfit, when you are exercising, 
magiging healthy ka talaga. Marami siyang benefits. So, what made you go into CrossFit in the first place, ma'am? Ano po yung naging reason nyo talaga? Actually, more on the community. Community? Yeah. So, minsan kasi pagka pagod na pagod ka na, when someone, yung environment, pinupush ka, yung support system is very strong, mas na pupush ka to finish the workout, to finish the wood. Nice, okay. So, any advice for any aspiring ano, individuals na gusto rin mag, mag CrossFit in the future? So sa mga sa advice ko for for ano for someone sedentary or yung mga gusto mag-start into fitness siguro ano um punta muna kayo sa gym okay. tapos tingnan niyo muna yung environment then after that mag-try out ka okay. yung very, yung hindi naman yung try out na magbibigla mo yung sarili mo na heavy weights agad so start sa simple classes para lang din ma ma boost yung confidence mo and at the same time yung strength mo ma mag-increase so hindi kasi may mga may mga other places ako napuntahan na ang ginagawa nila okay kapag ka, kahit even beginner ka pinupush ka nila ng mabilis na ano agad mabigat agad so yun start from some uh, little weights muna and then from there makikita mo yung transformation yung difference sa body mo then you will start loving exercise crossfit yes ma'am Right. Okay, thank you very much, Thank you! Hi, I'm Bianca from Jungle Base Fitness. Dito lang ako from San Fernando, Papanga. Jungle Base? Yeah, nice Jungle Base. Okay. So, how long have you been in CrossFit? Um, actually, I started last year lang, around September 2022. So, almost a year pa lang ako nag-CrossFit. Okay, so what made you go into CrossFit in the first place? Actually, tinry ko lang siya. Parang wala naman sa plan ko. But, Jungle Base family is different. So, talaga nag-enjoy ako sa community at Jungle Base. That's why, um, nagtuloy-tuloy ang CrossFit journey ko sa them. Any advice for individuals wanting to go into fitness or specifically CrossFit din? Okay, actually my advice is go ahead. Kasi if I already knew nung teenager pa lang ako na enjoy pala ang CrossFit, I already started. started Kasi started. syempre tumatanda tayo, medyo kapag nag-iba ang ating ano, ang ating ano in life. Pero if you want to start now, start now kasi enjoy ang CrossFit. The earlier the better. The earlier the better. Okay, all right. Thank you, man, for Thank you. Hi, my name is Lee Fellows. I live here in San Fernando. Oh, wow. Hello, Mga Palen. <laughs> I'm Kakpapangan. Yeah. All right, that's nice. Uh, how, how long have you been doing CrossFit, sir? I started in December last year. I was, yeah, just, just, so last just, year. just six, seven months ago, yeah. Wow. And so right. this is my first competition. This is your first competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, why did you go into CrossFit in the first place? Well, I've always kept an active lifestyle. Uh, but as I'm getting old now, yeah, I'm well into my 40s, and I was looking for a new something new to focus on, some of that I I could concentrate on, and and I had real progression, yeah. And CrossFit seemed to tick all those boxes. You can start at a level, and and you you just work your way up the different get, way, uh, levels. So it, it suited my my lifestyle. It's quick, really. Yeah, you don't need to spend three four hours down the gym. You can get in and out. So it, it suited my lifestyle. Yeah. Do you have any advice for other people who would want to go into CrossFit? Yeah, I, I think CrossFit is really suitable for anybody, any age, all fitness levels. Yeah, um, even people with disabilities do CrossFit. Yeah, so it, it's really, and it's a, it's a great community. Yeah, it's a great team. And, and if you start it, you will really enjoy it. I got it hooked. <laughs> yeah. I'm hooked like, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's really nice to hear. <laughs> Uh, it's our first event after the pandemic. The first one was 2016 and what happened is we're supposed to have this event for our beginner members. Natakot mag-compete. Uh, Yun, okay, kaya, yeah, that's why it's a CrossFit Kabalen Rookie, Rookie Invitational. And binigyan namin kasi ng twist for our members. Sabi namin tayo-tayo lang. But the, the truth is, Para magkaroon sila ng konting push is we invited uh, from other from other boxes, boxes yes. na alam din namin na hindi pa ganun katagal nagko-compete. So we we had this requirement na if you're joining bootcamp, which is the beginner level, dapat hindi ka pa nag-compete at all. So yung scaled naman, yung medyo higher level or sometimes we call it intermediate, uh, sila at least mga nakakapag-compete na once or twice. Okay. Pero hindi pa nanalo. Ah, okay. So the intention of the workout is ma feel nila yung competition without much pressure. Mm -hmm. Kasi Dahil, the oh, kasi level. beginners lang eh. Uh -huh. Kaya ang nangyari is dumami ng dumami. <laughs> we only, hindi namin expect kaabot ng 50. Okay. 
So well, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. And at the same time, it's also a community building. Mm -hmm. Dahil because from coming from a pandemic nga, uh -oh. uh, yung mga crossfitters ngayon hindi na sila magkakakilala. Uh, so this is, this is yes. a nice venue to oh, get oh. to know each other. Uh -oh. Unlike before, kung sino yung mga kakilala mo ng 2013, sila na yung kakilala mo up to present. So ngayon, yung parang this is the new, new generation of crossfitters, at least magkakakilala sila. Yan, ganun. And uh, at the same time, sportsmanship, building confidence. Kasi malalakas yung mga beginners eh, regardless of which box. Ang ano lang, hindi sila nabibigyan ng opportunity to compete. Yun. I guess the environment here was so vibrant and so energetic. If you're just going to pass, it's just like that. Correct. That's what we wanted. That's really our goal. We had a singular moment that everyone would cheer. I see. That's a very nice activity. Thank you both for the time. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. 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 Thank Welcome to our box. Um, this is our first ever Rookie Invitational for 2023. Um, what started out as what was supposed to be a CrossFit Kabalen Community Summer Throwdown escalated into this Invitational event. Because, you know, um, we had friends from other boxes that also wanted to join. And the intention of this was to really encourage our members, our new members that have never competed to try. To try lang to compete in a small scale uh, competition atmosphere. So yun, then naging dumami. <laughs> dumami. But I'm so happy with the support of the other communities all over the Philippines. We have people from Abra, from Lipa, from Batangas. We, yeah, we try to keep it very small because uh, it's it's supposed to be just a small competition but now we have 50 athletes competing on the wad floor and i think really most of them rookie and when you say rookie newbies talaga yeah it's just an experience mm -hmm. lang get out of that regular comfort the zone of yes. doing your regular daily wads mm -hmm. yeah, so, nice yeah. anything can we can expect moving forward ma'am after this, um, everyone's right now. I have good feedback on how the event's going. Maybe next year, ulitin namin, but still the same thing for rookies only. So maybe rookies invitational 2024. Nice. So look forward to it, ma'am, and we'll be there also to support you. Thank you. Thank you so much.
love it mga kalifit for more special features don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page, Life at 40. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified for all future content. A huge thanks and shout out to all our sponsors. Check out the links in the description down below. So we'll be seeing you in the next episode. Stay safe always, mga ka -life it. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that grow up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'm a make mod, so you better go take it. <laughs> YouTube, yeah. Okay, follow po.